All right, here's something that I wanted to share uh, real quick with the guys that make these little tiny um, pulse motors using a, a needle and maybe a jar lid or something. And uh, we've come to call these needle motors. And uh, Magnet Man uh, 2010 uh, did a whole lot of good work on the needle motors, along with a bunch of other people, including me. But uh, what we've searched for for years is a good suspension system for them. And some of them are, most of them use a magnet and something else and uh, suspend it somehow. But at high RPM, they go unstable. And so I've searched for quite a long time to find some way of suspending the needle um, on a pulse motor so that when you rev it up, it's still stable. And uh, when I was working with this wobbling needle motor that had the large hole here that the needle wobbled around in, I thought, I wonder if I just made that small and made that a small hole if I could use it as a bearing and sure enough it worked really good because it's very thin when I pounded out this brass wire it became very thin and the uh, friction area became very small and all you're trying to do on this is just support the needle at the top it's running in a uh, Phillips head screw brass screw at the bottom the needle sits in that screw and uh, that's where the point of the needle goes. But then, uh, like I say, up here at the top, if you can stabilize the top of it, it really uh, becomes a really good uh, stable platform. So that's what this is here. That's a very, very small hole that the needle sits in right there. And uh, very, very good lubrication on that and very good lubrication on the bottom. And you end up with a really nice uh, pulse motor. Now, I went back to just a reed switch for this, just to show the uh, operation. The wobbling needle motor was interesting, but not very practical. This is. On these small little uh, motors like this, a regular reed switch, that's what that is. That's a proximity switch for a security system. You can get them online. Any kind of reed switch will work. But um, it's running on AA battery. Um, what I wanted to show also was that you can... Uh, take these reed switches and by adjusting the timing on it control the RPM and when you get a stable platform like this where you're secured at the top and you're secured at the bottom it gives you a lot more flexibility with these little needle motors and let me uh, put a radio on it you can hear it here I'm going to rev this up by moving the timing What I'm doing here is uh, putting the timing where it needs to be. And if you go too fast on these little needle motors, you're going to throw a magnet the way I have these glued on here. So you really don't want to rev them up too fast. For most of your experiments, you don't need super high RPM, just enough to do your experiments. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with uh, some of the guys that work on these small motors that... Uh, use a little tiny tiny jewelers kind of drill and drill a, a small hole in a flattened out piece of um, brass wire I got this brass wire at a craft store and you just put it on uh, something metallic and hit it with a hammer and drill a little teeny hole there's the little teeny hole in that one right there and of course it's over there in that and then the needle depending on your needle just uh, runs in that Hole, and it's chrome steel on brass, which is a very, very good bearing surface. Anyway, that's just what I wanted to share today. Thanks for watching.